One. So good to see you. all my friends are here. Come play with me. Watch out for Rabbit's here. Everyone who's anyone is welcome here. So come on, let's have some fun. Sing along with me. Start your day with a dose of Raytana. I just realized something kind of important. I've never gone through the process of making my comic. I don't know how I did that. Okay, so the way everything started was with chapter one, Rain. Now, funny story about that is Rain wasn't meant to be a chapter. I had no intention of making a graphic novel. You can look at Etsy a while I'm explaining this. <laughs> it was just an idea. An idea that um, I got from drawing one of my first pictures of Zim with the hair that he has. The only problem was that the drawing that I did um, was at work in pen and Zim is too tall in it. I had shortened Zim in the comic. Um, and so it, the comic revolved around three jokes. One was, what is this amazing con contraption, which is an umbrella. The second one was, do you even have genitalia? Would you like to find out? And the third one was, I'm still going to destroy it. With that, I wrote a script and it turned into 18 pages. What I did, here, let me get that binder real quick. It's not even really, ah, my knee, oh my god. <laughs> that hurt. Should totally auto-tune that. It's not even really, ah, my knee, oh my god. <laughs> All right, so this has chapters one and two in it. So this is all drawn in pencil. And looking at chapter one, I'm seeing how much things changed uh, drawing-wise. I changed a lot of stuff. Um, I think I uh, I got much better um, towards the uh, towards the middle of chapter two, I think. So this is all drawn completely in pencil. Not all the lines are erased. Um, you could probably see them right here. Uh, right there. Um, there are also some mistakes that I didn't bother erasing, but I fixed it in Photoshop. So what I did, and you can see right there, um, transparent umbrella. So what I did was um, I wrote a script and then drew this in pencil, all 18 pages, drew it straight. I didn't um, just completely straight. Um, then I would, I scanned all of them and I would Photoshop them. I would, you've seen me Photoshop things like this. I would outline it in Photoshop to make the black line and then I'd color it and shade it and stuff which is very arduous. Um and then after I got done coloring a page I would post it. Got one pretty much um, done uh, every single day if not two. Oh my god this stupid city. We built this city. So that's how I did chapter one. Now that was only meant to be a short comic. 18 pages of a comic. Then I had another idea. This also wasn't meant to be a chapter. I had an idea revolving around the fact, um, revolving around Zim bothering Dib, um, and Dib showing him a scary movie that makes him freak out and not want to go home. Therefore, spending the night in his bed and snuggling up to him. This I did in, I sketched it out in pencil, and then I outlined it in marker, erased the pencil, and then colored it in colored pencil. This was not meant to be a chapter until the end of it. So this is when um, my drawings started getting a little better. Uh, Zim's hair was um, a little more perfected. Um, getting Dib's head shape and proportions were a little easier. Um, but uh, my pencil started to get very small. I think around this time, I was probably thinking about chapters. It wasn't really until 
the end of this that I thought, well, what if? What if I did that? What if I wrote chapters? So then I wrote four more. This is only a couple pages of chapter five. I wrote four more scripts, each chapter intertwining each other and tying together um, the, the uh, chapter one, Rain, which happened on a Friday, um, and chapter two, Movie Night, which happened on a Saturday. Um, chapter three uh, begins on um, Sunday night, uh, technically Monday morning, because it was like 3 a.m. She won't put out, let's go make out with her friends, let's go make out with her friends' friends. Um, but still relatively, you know, went to sleep on Sunday. Um, so, chapter three through five, through the end of five, is Monday, and chapter six is Tuesday. So this is the beginning of chapter five. So I wrote up to chap uh, chapter six. I, I wrote, well, I wrote two chapter six, like chapter six is written down. I wrote all these scripts. Um, and so what I do is I'll set the scene and I'll put dialogue. And sometimes I'll change stuff. Sometimes I'll cross stuff out um, depending on how I want to draw stuff or what what's going on. Um, dialogue, 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 and descriptions of the, the environment and the scenes and such. Um, I will not put the sidebars in. Those, uh, I come, will come randomly to me when I actually draw the comic itself. Like the Freedom Apple. I did not put that in the script. I did not say Zim's apple flings off of the table when he slams his, his hands on the table. I did not say that. That was random. And insert running sound here. Random. Those come to me as I'm drawing it. Um, so I write the skip. The skip. Oh, yes. I need to do that. Anyway. <laughs> I, I just uh, read my note to myself. Um, so I write the script. And then, so we're going, uh, oh, so after I started, um, writing all these I thought well maybe I, I I have all these other chapters in my head I have what's gonna happen in my head but I don't know what to name these chapters I don't know what to put in them specifically so that's when I took this little book the book begins with um, my notes for Mrs. Sauer's backstory so her name her maiden name her mother's name she has no father and her husband's name then I started doing a rough draft, a rough summary, not a draft. I have, I barely have any dialogue. It's just quick, like uh, chapter seven for this one is one, just two pages, and each one is like a couple of pages long. And what I'll do is when I'm done illustrating chapter six, is I'll go back, um, I'll read the summary, and then I'll create the scripts based on the summary, summaries, and I have up to ch uh, twenty chapters. So. Using chapter five as a um, what you call it um, an example script, then what I will do is I will read the description and the dialogue, and then I'll look at a comic layout and I'll imagine what's happening in each square, what needs to happen in each square, how many panels there's supposed to be on the page, what can I fit in it, so. We've got Dib is lying on his back in his bed, looking even more exhausted. The clock says five o'clock. The clock doesn't say does indeed say five o'clock. He remembers kissing Zim in the detention chamber, and he blushes, closing his eyes. However, he then remembers when Zim kisses him back and says, "Now we're even." Dib covers his eyes with his hands, groaning. Um. So I have to. Sorry, something was in my eye. So I have to figure out what to put that in and how many frames to uh, end it in. I need to end each page as if it's completed something. I can't just like let it hang off in an awkward way. Like if I ended it, say, okay, say if I ended it at like this panel, the I thought that if I kissed. Uh, kissed him, all these weird thoughts would go away. It would kind of not conclude it because on the next page it would have this panel 
and then it would go to the next part of the story, which doesn't even um, take place in Dib's room. So you have to come, you have to put the layouts into your head. Um, and so the dialogue, so he remembers kissing Zim, and then he remembers uh, Zim saying, now we're even. He doesn't cover his eyes, I just put his hands on his face, that's one of, a, that's one of the um, changes I made. So the dialogue says, I thought if I kissed him, all these weird thought, thoughts would go away. And then, sigh, once again, Dib, you were wrong. Now, the script says he turns on his uh, side, hugging his pillow and staring at the wall with all the candid snapshots uh, of Zim he's taken over the years, which is on his wall. Um, I decided to not reveal exactly what the snapshots look like in this one, just because the page, um, the layout looks good. So I just had him turn on his side and close his eyes and be all sad and confused. Um, and then, you know, I'll put sidebars like, backup glasses and this one says are are you too tall to curl up in a ball <laughs> so and then after I'm done sketching it out um, what I'll do is I'll go and I'll outline it in pen and I won't color it black with my pen I leave it and also there might be sometimes where I accidentally make mistakes like for example Lady da do do this part of his eye, you know, little things like that. I'll accidentally make mistakes and I'll go, oh well, I can fix that in Photoshop. So with blacks, uh, with all of the coloring, every single part of the coloring, I do in Photoshop. So I outline it, erase all the pencil, scan it, put it in Photoshop, color and shade it, and then I'll post it. And that's how I do that. Um. It's actually, yeah, there's another mistake. I love that face. So that's pretty much how I do my comic. Um, basically, script, sketch, ink, color. And I thought maybe you'd enjoy that explanation. So I'm going to go ahead and ink page one and continue page two and so on and so on. This video will obviously not be uploaded until after page one has been posted on <gasps> DeviantArt, but you probably don't care. Okay, anyway, bye-bye.